just wanted to uh, take the time and the chance to introduce uh, Shane Gagney. He's with uh, Home Depot Pro Services, Pro Account Representative. He's been with Home Depot for uh, 20 years this year. Um, he's actually a real good resource for us. As I was saying before, he helps with the supply chain um, and he helps us get the materials out the door. He helps us uh, make sure we're saving money where we're supposed to. Um, if we're saving somewhere else, he always helps us out. Again, we're not pitching Home Depot. However, he's a very good resource. And just remember, if his company, who's a big company, is willing to offer the services, um, we know personally, like ABC Roofing and a few other big companies out there, Northeastern Supply, they all have similar services to what Shane does. Not specifically, but willing to help you with your supply. Um, also, this is we always try to keep this interactive. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out as Shane speaking. If you have any questions um, on something he's speaking about, so we'll turn it over to Shane. Great. So thank you very much. I appreciate you, you guys having me on today. So, um, like Ian said, my name is Shane Gagney. I've been at Home Depot 20 years. Um, started at the, the Annapolis store back in 1997 uh, when I was 15. Just kidding. Okay. So, uh, so I'm, I'm a pro account representative, pro account manager. Uh, I've been in the role for 12 years. Uh, been in the Baltimore Metro for two years and North Baltimore 10 years before that and kind of did everything else with the company leading up to that. Uh, I came to Home Depot as an electrician. Um, so I understand the value of the relationships with your suppliers as well as with each other. So, you know, one of the things that, that these type of events uh, do best is to help build and grow and develop some of those relationships. And that's what I do for Home Depot and that's what Pro Services does is we are there to, to help facilitate your purchases to be your partner for the jobs that you that you currently have or the jobs that you have upcoming and need quotes and bids for. So, um, you know, most often uh, when I meet with property investors, property managers, uh, the biggest question is always, so what do you do? How, how can you help me? What can you do for me? In my world, which I'm sure is the same for you guys, time and money are kind of the same thing. So uh, the ways that we are able to help save you time at Home Depot and the ways that we are able to help you save money kind of cross paths sometimes. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. The challenge with Home Depot is we have so much to offer, but it's pretty difficult to get that message out to everybody with the details of how we can help you guys individually. So, uh, so a couple of things, I just wanna kinda of talk about how we can save you time and money, and then the most important piece in my opinion is how to start that relationship with your local pro desks and teams in the stores so that they can help you save time and money you know, going forward. Sound okay? Yes. Great, okay. So. So one of the things for time, um, we're you know we're a one-stop shop. I mean, I, I typically don't have to tell people what Home Depot is or what we sell. I mean, you guys have been to Home Depot, I assume, and we have multiple vendors, multiple companies, multiple supply houses under one roof. Our relationships with some 9,000 vendors or something at this point gives us really endless aisles. If you don't see it in the store, there's a ton of stuff that we have available. Uh, we can special order, you can order online. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard recently, but we purchased a, a company, Interline Brands, that was uh, Wilmar, Supply Works, Barnett Plumbing, Renovations Plus. Uh, it opened up quite a few avenues for us to, to help take care of you know, a bunch of different products and dump a bunch of different type customers. Customers. So, um, so one of the things we do for Pro is our dedication to Pro in our stores. You'll notice when you come to our stores, you know the the Pro end. They call it the Pro end. You, you've got your contractors, your trucks, your your lumber doors. We have dedicated Pro parking. We have dedicated Pro associates at all our desks. We have dedicated Pro cashiers uh, to help you know get your contractors or get you guys in and out of the store quickly. Um, that's a big benefit. You know, most people don't necessarily realize that time savings just to be able to get in and out quickly. If you're coming to the store to pick stuff up, or your guys are coming to the store to pick stuff up, uh, you said three hours, is that what you said? It takes yeah, three hours to get in and out? 
that, that can happen. Right. So, you know, a, a few of the things that we offer are you know, delivery services. Uh, we do also offer will call services, so you can call ahead, have an order pulled and ready for you, or delivered to your property. It's really easy to do uh, with your local pro teams. You can call the order, you can phone the order, or uh, fax the order, uh, you can email the order, you can order directly from the Home Depot app and have it ready for you and notified when it's pulled and ready to pick up. So there's a lot of different ways to save that time instead of going in, pulling all the merchandise yourself, uh, putting it on the cart, going out, loading it all, and, and there's just a time uh, investment there for you guys. And we are paying our people to do that. Uh, we don't want you guys to waste your money while you're in there doing that. So um, how many of you guys have heard of Pro Extra? Okay, okay, good. So um, Pro Extra is a incredibly valuable tool. Um, it is a software program that we have for our customers that, that really does three things and it does it very well. Uh, it, it's purchase tracking so that you can have all your receipts all in one spot, uh, all in one location. It goes back 25 months so you can would come time for reconciling your bills at the end of the month, it's all right there. Comes time for taxes, comes times, you know, if you ever wondered what you buy the most of, where you spend the most, what project you spent the most on, it'll do all that for you. So it's got some exclusive, you know, tools for your business. And then the other thing that it does is it's got some exclusive offers for Pro Extra members only. Uh, there's coupons that they send out, there's discounts, there's savings. Um, were you guys all aware that you could save up to 20% on your liquid goods uh, by being Pro Extra members? So uh, there you go. So okay. real quick, man. Pro Extra, we use it all the time. Uh, like we were talking about the Excel spreadsheet. Yeah. Don't put the job name in of exactly what the person's buying, whether you're at the desk or the regular checkout. We go in, we amend the names, make sure they're all the same. So at the end of the job, you can just pull Main Street and you know exactly how much you spend on Main Street and what you spend it on at Home Depot. We usually find out we bought Cokes and Red Bulls and whatever else, but it's always good to take a look, so. Yeah, so when I have this conversation typically with the accountants and the CFOs for companies, it takes an entirely different turn. That's usually one of the first things they ask me to pull up is, hey, can you tell me how many sodas we bought? And yeah, we actually can, and that's made some ugly conversations. Um, the other thing it'll do is it'll show you what stores you shop, where you spend the majority of your money, which if you have people shopping in stores, that can open up some conversations as well. If all your jobs are, you know, uh, we're in Columbia. So if all your jobs are Columbia, and all of a sudden you're seeing purchases in Aberdeen or, you know, uh, Berlin, you know, <laughs> it, it may give you an idea of where your people are at and where they're buying as well. The other thing that Pro Extra does for you is it opens up the ability to use our volume pricing program and I'll talk about that in a little bit too. Um, and it also gives the ability, so I talked about you know being able to order, phone, fax, will call. Uh, we have the ability today for phone sales with you guys, instead of having to give our cashiers or our pro associates your entire phone, your credit card number, it's stored in the system securely, so it's the most secure system to purchase from us on the phone today. Uh, instead of having to give the whole account number, it's already in there, it's already registered, you just have to give the last four digits. Uh, much safer. Safer for you not having to give your full account number or if you're anything like me, you're doing this down 95, hold on, let me get the phone card and get them reading the number out. And, and I see some of you guys on 95 daily doing it. So, um, so yeah, so very, very secure system. And now we, we even have text to confirm. So if you're really busy, uh, your guys come in to make a purchase in the store, uh, they can send it to your phone uh, as a text message. It comes up with an ability to uh, view the cart so you can see everything that's in it. And then you reply with like one and it purchases for you and you're, you're good to go. So uh, just another great way to save some time. The other um, function of, um, of the, uh, the the Pro Extra system is uh, it'll help allow uh, Home Depot to to 
know who you are as a business. Uh, so that way, you know, when we send out some of those uh, special offers, uh, we don't necessarily send out one email to everybody. Uh, it's it's generally geared towards people in your type of work. So uh, instead of sending out all the plumbers' emails to the, your electricians, that kind of stuff, we can really kind of gear those savings to what your industry-specific stuff is. Um, all right, so money. Who wants to save money? All right, the guys who didn't, I'd like to talk to you after. <laughs> this is going to be great. Um, so uh, saving money is one of the things that we do best. I've never had someone spend less with me because I've saved them money. Uh, and the more that we can save you guys, the more that you can do. The more that you do, the more you buy from us, and we all really, we, we really win together. So. Um, Depending on where you're at, we have different types of account options for Home Depot as well. So if you need additional funds to expand your business, you know, additional buying power, uh, and use our money, you know, instead of your own to float those projects and pay them off, we have those options available. One of the uh, the biggest things that people talk about, and I'm sure it'll come up, uh, is bulk pricing. So uh, we have instant bulk pricing in our stores. You, you've probably seen them on the shelves where it says, buy one, it's this price, buy five, it's this price, uh, buy more, you know, see the pro desk. That's a great way to instantly save money. We also have our volume pricing program, uh, which some people refer to as the bid room. And that's a phenomenal savings tool. So everything that we sell in a store qualifies for volume pricing, uh, discounts. That doesn't necessarily mean that everything gets discounted, uh, but it certainly qualifies for it. It's a great way to save additional monies on your project. So um, don't go. I was going to say, so I don't know if you're going to go into it, but whether you're managed or not, everyone's still eligible for the volume pricing, right? Yeah, absolutely. So the way the volume pricing program for us works in this market uh, and if it's a nationwide broadcast, uh, it is different in different markets. Uh, typically, it's I think it's $2,500. Here in the Baltimore market, uh, it's a $1,000 order and above. Uh, bring it right to the pro desk. They submit it electronically. It's, it's back instantly uh, you know, with some great savings for you guys. So, so it's a great way to save on your projects. So you got to spend, so if you're not managed and you're just first time flipper, you're going in and you need to order all your lumber for your house, it's going to be $2,500. You go to the pro desk or you contact your local person and then you guys run that through the bid room and get you potentially savings on that? Yep, absolutely. And then is it still true that it's open for 30 days then after? Or yep, so it's seven days, seven uh, days, which is a good point. So uh, $2,500 load, uh, and we'll talk 2500 because nationwide that's what it is, but um, 25, that's a pickup truck load to get started on the project. But the next day you might realize, ooh, forgot the nails and that's only 200 bucks. Well, you can continue to add on to that you know, for the next seven days. So you don't necessarily need to spend every single time at that 2,500, you, know, you can utilize it for the next seven days. So it's a great way to uh, extend the life of that, that bid. Uh, it's a great savings tool. And then we also have pro direct programs. So uh, again, I talked about you know, that there's a lot of stuff that's available online, but we have some bulk pricing stuff. And now when I say bulk pricing, I see everybody kind of go, well, I don't buy bulk, I don't buy that much. I don't need 500 doors or 15 truckloads of, of light bulbs. Most of the bulk quantity and, and that we offer is one case only. So if we're looking at, um, how many of you guys have to put smoke detectors or carbon monoxide alarms in your houses? <laughs> right. So, uh, you know, that's a savings uh, starts at one case. So instead of coming in and picking that up off the shelf uh, and paying shelf price for it, uh, you can order that direct from our pro desk and, and we can do as little as one case. I mean, there's phenomenal savings as you buy more. It gets better and better. But even at one case, you're already saving off that shelf price. Uh, light bulbs, water heaters, appliances. We've got some great uh, pro direct programs. Uh, air filters is another one that's really been, been moving in the marketplace too because a lot of people especially if you have a bunch of rental properties and you have to go through and, and do a bunch of air filters or a multi-family it's a great way to save so um and then uh i talked about the the, the pro paint you know 
purchases, save up to the 20%, that's all automatically tracked and accumulated through that Pro Extra program. So you just you, you purchase on one of your registered tenures, you enter your phone number every time you make a purchase, it tracks all that for you. You don't have to do any of that work or try to figure any of that out, and then it's all available to you uh, right online in just about real time. Um, I mentioned making the purchases from your pro or from the app, uh, the Home Depot app. The Home Depot app uh, does several things for you, both time and money. So it, you're, it, you're quick and easy to find the closest store to you. Uh, it'll give you the contact information for the local stores. It'll help you find product. It'll give you the availability of product at a store, which comes up great. If you know that you're gonna need 10 of something, you can pull it up and see that a store may not be, carry 10 of that item. You can see the stores in the area that do have it. And then it ties directly to Pro Extra when you link those two accounts. So if you have people in a store's purchasing, you can pull the Pro app up and look and see what that purchase is uh, right after they purchased it. So no, another great way to just to keep your eye on the business there. So I can feel it. You guys are thinking, Shane, this is amazing, right? Like, how do I start, right? So yes, sir, question. Yeah, um, with your bid room, we buy, we do flip a lot of houses. So if you take this constructively, I appreciate it. Um, is there a way um, of extending that bid room price of seven days if you produce, I mean, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of volume a year? Okay, so uh, sometimes we kind of get screwed if we miss the seven days, and then then I'm back to you know paying full price for it. Gotcha. So, so the question, if you guys didn't hear it, is how is there a way to extend that seven days from the the, the bid room? Short answer is no. Um, it, it really is only seven days, um, and the reason is because it was originally intended for a project, not multi-phase uh, savings. Now. Uh, I will tell you this: uh, the way that our you know bid room works, when you go in, uh, if you have spent the thousand dollars in seven days, uh, the bid is still open. So, having said that, if you open up that you know bid for a thousand dollars, and in the next seven days you happen to spend a thousand dollars, our system will probably think that you're still active in the bid room. So, uh, one of the ways to help, you know taking full advantage of that, as I tell people all the time, make sure you run everything through the bid room. So when you open up that bid, if you then go and make purchases through the regular registers, that doesn't count. That wasn't submitted to the bid room and it's not accumulated that way. We don't track you guys uh, from all those. It still has to go through and submit it from the desk. Uh, again, there's a bunch of other ways to really save uh, as well. So on those larger projects, if most of the stuff, if you're spending hundreds of thousands a, a year, quick math for me would tell you you're probably spending more than $1,000 a month. And I'm, uh, you know. It's not a month, but, but the problem is that you always have to reinitiate it. And as you get to the end of a, of a project, your punch out list, you, you might spend 300 bucks, but yet, you know, you just spent, you know, 20 some thousand, you know, the, the prior 30 days, but you're starting, that, that cycle restarts every week, is what I'm saying. And so there's certain points that it's very front end loaded. You spend a lot of money up front. You get to the back end of the projects, they're very, you know, minuscule and you're not you're not tapping a thousand dollars. Yep, uh, and I do appreciate that. I mean, I, I understand as you get some of those smaller purchases, you might not necessarily have those big needs, you know, if you just need to go in and buy those single items. Uh, that's when really I would encourage the relationship with your pro desk uh, to see if there's maybe an alternate you know, product or a different way that we can bring that product in for you instead of just going in and picking it up off the shelf. Um, you know, uh, there's 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 a convenience factor and a time factor to just go in if it's you know a fifty dollar item might not be worth spending all the time and a couple hours to save a few bucks because of what we wasted in labor but if there's another way that we could bring that in the other part that we really try to get ahead of with you guys is helping you manage those projects so we're asking the questions hey you know did you did you order this because we know that this is coming up or you know uh, as you're doing your bathroom package I noticed you you didn't order any you know towel bars or you know and that's the kind of stuff where we really try to help and get in front of it um, 
but again, kind of make a long story longer, the, the bid room is uh, still seven days. And also, so some people might be thinking, how do you spend 2,500 bucks, but if you're doing your bathroom package, you need to order the tile and the border and the backer board vanities, whatever it may be. You can actually order that with you and actually warehouse it in your, more or less, you can, we'll call it, for the next 30 days, correct? Or like yep. flooring is always a good one. You know, if you're doing your flooring and your tile together, order it all at once and go get it when you need it and they'll actually, it's almost like having your own warehouse for yourself. Yeah, and that's, I mean, we are a warehouse and we do offer will call. So, you know, if you can combine any of those purchases to get to that $1,000, we'll certainly hold it for you in our stores to uh, allow you to come back in and pick portions of it up. So you can actually purchase for the entire job uh, and then come in and pick up what you need and we'll sign you out for what you take or what you guys take every time. Uh, and that's a great way to, to lump those savings, you know, to lump those projects together to, to get maximum savings. That'd be a better way to not to test your builder's risk insurance by having all that stuff laying on the property, waiting for somebody to come by and grab it from. Sure, and that never happens, right? No, never. I mean, never break it. Never do this. <laughs> Yeah, so, and, and you know, you, you guys know as well as I do, today if you brought $10,000 worth of product to an unsecured job site, tomorrow you'd show up and well, you could come back and buy doors from me and locks because that's probably where you'd have to start back from because uh, the rest of it would be gone. Uh, I'm happy to sell it to you again, but really I just, I'd rather you do more projects. So, um, so a will call is a, is a great way to buy those larger orders and just take what you need or what your guys need uh, and control a little bit of that instead of leaving it on the job site. The other thing is even with great contractors uh, if they are only taking what they need or what they have for that there's a lot less waste it seems um, and by waste I mean stuff doesn't really disappear there's less stuff on the job that walks um, when we know we just have stuff here so if there's 12 cases of tile delivered to the job that's easier than if we did 40 cases of tile and all of a sudden they get ready to do it and they go huh I'm short 12 cases of tile I don't know what happened uh, that, that can really help as well let me ask a quick question then Ian probably should be answering, but I'm just, I'm, I'm curious. When you do your jobs, do you buy all your materials yourself and then just pay for labor separately? Or do you go through a contractor and, a, you know, one full price and let the contractor, do you say, hey, I want you to do all this and let them pay for materials themselves? So for us to go back to the contractors and us hiring the guys that we hire, for us, it works better that we actually pay for the materials this way. They don't have to worry about front loading costs and all that kind of good stuff. And plus our relationships with say Shane and other suppliers, we have the volume that we're getting better prices than they could potentially get. Um, so for us, like text to confirm and all that kind of, those things, they know they can go to Home Depot, get what they need, or go to whatever supplier it is, and we'll pay for the materials and have the accounts. It just works better for us, as well as we can manage what we're using and not using a lot better um, than someone saying, oh, I used X, Y, and Z. Well, how do you know what was paid for? Where was it used versus someone orders a whole hat or 300 two by fours. Well, if I go to the house and it's only the basement, you know something's wrong, you know? Yeah, what, about, what about if if they say, cool, I'm gonna charge you 10,000 for a new kitchen, and this is the expectation of, you know, stainless steel appliances, medium grade granite, stuff like that. Like, would you just say, cool, 10,000 bucks, you take care of all the materials? Or would, you, or would you rather say, I'll take care of all the materials and just quote me for labor? Uh, we always go on a uh, labor aspect. That's what works for us. I don't like the idea of other people paying. And, um, look, it works for people that they pay for everything and just it's one stop shop depending on what your situation is. However, for us, we're hands on, we're out there every day. So for us, we just rather pay for the labor. We know what we're paying for, and I can mitigate my. Um, my material costs and it's, it's another thing that I can control without micromanaging but it is something that you can control. What about a newer investor doing the first deal and they're getting bids from somebody? Newer investor I would um, newer investor yeah, I mean it could work either way um, definitely you got to go on the reputation of your contractor referrals pictures um, going to other job sites to see jobs that they've completed you know, I'm not just gonna write stroke someone a $10,000 check and say, have at it, good luck. Um, the other thing is, personally, I would probably order the materials because then you know you get what you want versus saying, 
unless you're that detail oriented and you say, Shane, these are the SKUs that I want to use, hand the SKUs to the contractor and they go there and pray that they still use the right SKUs, it's going to still be lucky. I mean, at one point we had developed a whole book and this is how you're going to flip houses with equity warehouse and um, it just, it didn't work, you know what I mean? Like, so for us, it's just easier for us to order the materials, tell them exactly what they need to get and then we see if they're at the shopping cart, you know, like you were saying, you get the text to confirm, no, dude, that's the wrong tile, go take it back. That's the wrong light fixture, whatever it is. And you can actually control what you're getting, what you're paying for. Um, so I, I would lean towards you buy the materials. If I could jump in as well, um, I would encourage you guys at some point uh, to price the material yourself. Because otherwise, to be perfectly honest, uh, you have no idea if that's a relevant price. If you're, you know, being charged uh, 25 or 30 percent, you know, percent on top of that product, if you can't really gauge it yourself to know how much that should cost or a, a good idea. So I would certainly encourage you guys to to price it yourself, even if you don't necessarily buy it yourself. Uh, you know, like you had mentioned that some uh, you have the contractors buy you hand them. This is the list. We can also help you with that if that you do want to go that route uh, and the contractors are buying the material uh, our pro associates can build those quotes kind of with you and then have your contractors buy it we can help you do that too so the other nice thing is the fact that the will call you can actually go to home depot even if it's on a saturday and the protest might not be open you go around and order everything that you want and then it's already sitting there on will call there's no question what your contractors get it you know what i mean they can go in there you tell me about the metro glacier whatever tiles they know you've already ordered it all they got to do is go there and pick it up which store are you at so i have baltimore metro i don't necessarily have a store uh, i report on a regional level uh, for home depot yes Okay, so the question was, once you establish your account, can you use it in different states? Yes, uh, you can use it in every state uh, uh, for Home Depot. Uh, it's global, so you can pull it up from anywhere. Uh, it is a little different in Canada uh, for our Canadian stores, um, and Guam, I think, is different as well. But uh, the other stores, you can... But you know what, when you're ready, you let me know. Uh, make sure it's a job site visit for me. <laughs> yeah. Free. The question was how much was pro extra cost, and it's free. So a uh, couple things. Uh, so you know, I kind of talked about quite a bit of ways to save time and money. Uh, everything that I talked about, uh, at least maybe is some you know familiarity with it. Uh, our pro desk can talk about it. it's available online. First step, honestly, uh, is to you know really go in and talk to the pro desk at your local store. Just introduce yourself. Everybody kind of say, I ask people all the time, like, what, do you ever use the pro desk? And the, the typical answers are, well, I've seen it, or I'm not part of the crowd, or I don't know what they do, or it's just a bunch of guys up there standing around. Uh, I'm not a big enough, or I'm not a pro. Just, the, they're, they're the best business to business vehicle in there. They're gonna understand your needs. They're gonna understand your business. They're gonna understand your contractors. Just go introduce yourself. Stop by the desk, let them know kind of what your business model is. If you're a property investor, property manager, uh, you could be a contractor. It doesn't matter. They, they'd love to talk to you, love to hear from you, and they can help you find those additional savings programs. Uh, again, this is this is about relationships, and the best relationship you're going to get in our buildings are at the Pro Desk. Yes? In addition to the supplies, does the Pro Desk offer services, uh, say, installation of drywall, framing, and plumbing? So we do, um, and if you guys need subs, uh, we certainly are, are there as well. Uh, as one of the nation's leading largest installers of many product categories, uh, we definitely have, uh, we definitely can be your sub if you need a subcontractor as well. Yeah, so uh, what, uh, what Ian's referring to is, uh, LA, uh, L yeah, LA Housing Authority, uh, they, they basically got rid of their whole team. So they no longer had people to come around, do the punch outs, maintain the properties. Uh, Home Depot is the one that does all of the renovations and 
um, repairs and work on the LA Housing Authority homes as well. And we've got some relationships like that here as well. Uh, we're happy to be your sub for piece, part, or the entire job, uh, depending on where you need it. You know, there's a, a lot of great contractors in the area that are able to do it. Sometimes with the volume, uh, you may need someone else and we're, we're happy to step in now. If you do get an installation from Home Depot, it's uh, our, our, all of our installers are badged, bump checked every six months, licensed, bonded, insured. I mean, and you know where to find us next week as well. So if you're really struggling to find that labor, uh, chucking a truck might not be the best guy because uh, next week after you give them the deposit, you'll be chasing them down Pratt Street. So. <laughs> Sure. So um, one of the things that we do as, as pro reps is, is we manage customers. We call that our managed account program. Um, I'm hoping that at some point we can get all you guys you know, to that threshold. Uh, but there is a kind of a dollar threshold for that amount. And it's uh, typically 125000 and above is, is you know where, where we pick up those accounts a year. Unless you're doing that a month and then I can help you right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's three or four flips a year, I would say, right? The materials? Yeah, if, if you're doing 40 on a flip, that's three flips. If you're doing 50, man, you, you could definitely get there. Uh, well, first, you get me. Ta-da! <laughs> so, um, one of the things that we do for, as a managed account is it just it really gives you a single point of contact, um, especially if you have a larger geographical area or maybe a more complex business uh, where you need someone to help facilitate your purchases amongst a bunch of different stores or a bunch of different states uh, for a bunch of different properties. Uh, that's where we really come in and help you, you manage that piece as well. Yes, yeah, so there are some rebates associated with the managed account program. Depending on the nature of your business, uh, we do offer you know some diff different national account rebate programs. Yes. Yeah, I was just going to say, Ian, your, your contract is, is very good. The only thing I might want to point out, because you said it earlier, you have to be careful with labor because you do W9 you do that specifically. But you have to be careful if you're a new person and you don't really know what you're doing because they can be, uh, according to the IRS, um, uh, employees. So you have to make sure you know what you're doing. And, and I, I'm all for your model because that's our model too as far as the labor. But I, I just wanted to make sure that subtlety so somebody just, because if you hire somebody and they just pay labor, buy all the material, technically they're your employee, unless you go through the steps that allow them to do something. Yeah, that comes up every investor meeting that I'm at. Um, so, and that's your each individual decision as to how you want to, you know, handle that portion of the business yourself. So, um, so I guess before we get, you know, kind of too far on the weeds from the desk and manage account stuff. So, uh, first thing I recommended was talk to your pro desk. Just introduce yourself. Uh, the second thing that I would do is make sure that you get yourself signed up for Pro Extra, and it's free. Uh, you can do it at any store. You can do it from your phone right now. Um, and if you go to homedepot.com uh, under our pro section, it's there. It's it's some real basic information to get yourself started uh, and, and start taking advantage of that today. It's free and there's absolutely no reason why you wouldn't want to use that today. And then the last thing that I would say is, is take advantage of the Home Depot Pro app. Um, most of us today have smartphones. Uh, be smart with them, use it. It's a, it's a great time savings tool. It's great quick on the spot information, especially when you're when walking properties or trying to estimate. We talked about how do you know how much. Uh, man, there's nothing quicker than pulling up the app and, and, and seeing how much uh, an individual item is. You know, uh, you can figure out your own labor models for it, but it's a great way to know how much things cost. Uh, one of the other things with the, the app is it will tell you where the items are located in the store that you are shopping to the aisle number and the bay number. 
So I've been with Home Depot 20 years. We carry about 35,000 SKUs in our stores. Uh, I probably know 30 of them uh, myself. Uh, but every single one of the stores is kind of set up different. So if you've shot multiple stores, we just don't put everything in the same place. I think it's the confuses, makes us wander around and you know, buy more stuff while we're in there ourselves. So I will still pull up myself while I'm in the store. Uh, I, I'm more than happy to help any customer I come across and they'll say, hey, do you know where the supply lines are? And I go, yes. Nope, I have no idea in this store where it is. Uh, here, and I pull out my, my 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 Home Depot app and pull it up, and it shows me right in the store where it is, and I go right to it and pick it up. So that's another cool you know function of the app. Yeah, one thing I want to mention uh, that I think we were talking about earlier with Ian is a little bit of cash flow management when using a hard money lender or a private lender you're getting draws for this. Um, so we have a lot of our borrowers that have credit with Home Depot. Obviously, credit cards where they can buy materials on and things like that. Um, so, for instance, they'll use their credit card to buy material, whatever it costs, uh, maybe spend a few bucks out of pocket for the labor, and then when they get their draw from the lender, they just pay that off. So, it, depending on what your budget is, how much money you have to work with, it's, it's kind of a good, good resource. So there's a couple advantages of doing it that way, and you're able to take advantage of the, so one of the things that the both, I, I mentioned we have two, we have two different types. One's a commercial revolving, uh, which is your typical, you know, kind of department store card. Uh, you can pay minimum balance, float your project for a few months. Uh, that offers 60 day you know, terms, uh, no interest. And then we have another uh, type, and that's that's the payoff at the end. It's a, it's a net 60 account, um, and that's, you know, more commonly like like the American Express pay it off at the end of you know the, the 60 days so both accounts offer um, fuel rewards and which is another cool advantage uh, you can earn uh, 10 cents for every hundred dollars uh, that you spend so you spend a thousand dollars you get uh, you know a dollar off of gas uh, right what's gas today three bucks so three thousand dollars you would earn three dollars off a 20 gallon fill up uh, it's a great way to, to put some additional savings back and then both of those offer that and then the third thing uh, that both uh, both offer is a one year hassle free return. So typically for returns at Home Depot, uh, when you come in after a certain period of time, 90 days, uh, we, we would issue store credit to you. Uh, if you have a Home Depot account, you can put it back on that account uh, for a year uh, back to the actual purchase without having to go with store credit. And then with the 60 day terms and, and you're taking draws from a hard money lender, uh, you should be able to you know make those payments and save yourself the interest and the additional monies. Do you guys offer credit to LLCs? We offer credit to everybody credit worthy. <laughs> So our monies are all handled by city. So it's not, you know, I, I know sometimes you know, with smaller groups, it's the guy in the back with the banker like, you know, trying to figure out, well, let's give them this. Uh, we, we, cities handles our money. So it is a true, you know, you know, credit process. So, but is it, you know, is it the owner of the LLC or the LLC? Is it, is it the owner of the LLC who they? Typically it would be, yeah, unless you, your, your business has established credit with it. And, you know, and then we're looking at DMB scores and all that kind of good stuff as well and financials but yeah most of those would be and I'm not a, a credit guy or tax guy or accountant but uh, you know it would be on the individual owner yeah and that's a good solution cool well I forgot to put your uh, contact information up here but what I'll do is we'll send an email blast out if someone wants you know more information or could utilize change services uh, you know, I'm sure you're happy to help them. You're certainly, absolutely. certainly a good, good resource. How many? Just out of curiosity, how many account pro managers? That's the position. That's the name of it. How yeah. Many, so we're pro account pro right. account managers. Yep, yep. How many of them are there locally? Locally, there is 13 plus uh, four assistants that work directly for us. So 17 total in the Mid Atlantic, uh, which is a pretty good number to handle. You know, right here as a company, we're uh, close to 300 outside. You know, so again, my recommendation: talk to the desk uh, as well, because uh, they're going to have our contact information, and your daily point of contact should be the stores. If you've got to call your pro rep because you need to go in and pick up a two by four wax ring in a supply line, uh, you know, that's probably not the right call. Got it.
Cool. Well, does anyone else have any questions, either for Shane, Ian, myself? Guys, thank you. I really, I really do appreciate it. Thank you.